Hello again, Steve here with a few comments about what appears to be a lot of craziness going on to do with consent, right? Um, the whole Me Too movement, you could say, at least ostensibly, has to do with consent, right? There's all this concept now that, you know, flirting and sexual innuendo and so on is an assault upon people, upon women, right? And in fact, I was just cruising around the car today, uh, doing some work, and I heard these two people talking about how, on the radio, they're just cruising through the different radio stations, and they were talking about how some parents now, they don't want to show, is it Snow White? Uh, the Disney movie Snow White, because a prince kisses the princess when she's asleep, he doesn't have her consent course the fact that she's if he, if he didn't kiss her she would sleep forever etc etc is not already brought in the point is that you're not supposed to kiss a princess when she's asleep because that is that is kind of like rape right having got the consent okay it's craziness for sure I mean you know if men got consent from women in everything throughout history most of us wouldn't be here we could say and Women in general uh, don't like people who ask for consent all the time because women in general are not great at making decisions. I've been told by that, told, told of that by a woman very recently. And, but there's a silver lining to this always because what appears to be craziness it also appears to backfire because, okay, if that's an assault, if anything, if anything is perceived as no consent of a woman from anybody then how about taxation right don't you need to, don't you need my consent don't you need my consent to impose any rule don't you need my consent to impose your democratic will upon people isn't that considered rape of some sort assault of some sort if you impose your will upon somebody else it's like kissing the woman the sleeping beauty the sleeping princess that's considered to be assault well getting your hands in my bank account in my wallet uh, you know uh, vicariously through through a, a, an organization that you vote for is also assault right and imposing all kinds of laws on people not allowing them to possess a certain kind of a plant people think there's all this oh the freedom with marijuana now yeah right it's probably more it's probably more um, uh, there's less freedom in marijuana now in so-called Canada than there was. It was a free market before, now it's a regulated market, right? And um, people are like, yay, we have legalized marijuana. Why, why not just decriminalize it? Why, why impose rules upon people who never were involved in the rule process? That is no consent, right? It's called consent of the governed, but very often things are proceeded upon without getting people's explicit consent. See, this is the, what they're talking about in this whole Me Too thing now is all these gray areas, right? All these gray areas was it wasn't completely clear. It was not completely clear. We can't say that we have a social contract. You actually have to have a damn bloody individual contract for something to be, if, if that's what they're saying, if that's what the Me Too movement is saying. There has to be an actual contract. So, as things are backfiring and backfiring and backfiring and backfiring on the left, bringing out all these things like, what was it, uh, uh, um, what's her name, the, the, the hooker who uh, sued Trump for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, causing an offense to her daughter, uh, Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels sues Trump and Trump wins again, right? Trump, now Stormy Daniels has to pay Trump's legal bills. It's pretty, pretty funny, actually. So... The backfire on this one might be, hang on a second here, let's take this a bit further. If there's all kinds of gray areas and there has to be a cl clear um, approval of anybody transgressing upon our property, our bodies and the things we possess, if that has to be so, then it has to be universally so. Otherwise, people see it for what it is, it's just people trying to get special rights for themselves. So. Think about the silver lining that can come from these otherwise crazy ideas of not showing your kids Snow White anymore or Sleeping Beauty. 
because a prince kisses her when she's asleep, but he hasn't got consent. Well, let's bring that up. Let's, 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 let's all of us do that. Hang on a second here, government, or whoever you are. Uh, if you're trying to transgress upon my, my pocketbook, my bank account, my, the, 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 um, the compensation for my labor, you better bloody well have an explicit, explicit contract, an explicit agreement from me. Otherwise, take your bloody, uh, bloody um, support for your Me Too movement and shove it somewhere because it's just special rights for certain people and that's not just. Talk again soon. Bye for now.